Now the thing that we're going to do is that we want to create, you know, like with our, our uh, other project, um, we want to have an expression that evaluates the more uh, solids that we have in here, the uh, um, evenly evenly spaced, it'll be evenly spaced out, regardless of how many objects you have in there. So let's rename our white solid here. Okay, it is gray. Okay. Um, let's go back into our expression, and this time we're going to go to the position. Um, Alt-click on the stopwatch, drag that down. And seeing as how our position is already set to 0, 5, 12, that's good. Um, we're going to again divide this up, so x equals, y equals. For x I'm going to hit value, bracket, one close bracket, semicolon, y value, bracket, one close bracket, semicolon. Now the good thing about using value is that you can still change the actual value of you know the position or scale whatever it is. So the x position I can s still change the value from 0 0 to whatever and it will update in the expression. So you're not really locking in everything. That's what's so good about using expressions. Let's go down here, bring it together, x comma y close bracket. So we want this uh, x position to stay at 0, 0. And uh, you can leave the y position wherever it is because it doesn't really need to change. Now the thing is, we've got to move each um, uh, solid array um, across our composition depending on how many you know, uh, rays we have there. So the expression we are going to use is, oh, I'm sorry, we have to add um, some variables in there, another variable. So we're going to go back to our null and see our pixels um, ray total. Ah, what I do here. There we go. And that's, that's the uh, um, variable we want to, want to have. So ps equals, and pick whip. Oh, I'm sorry, ray total. So we're going to use RT for ray total. Pick with the slider. Ah, trace again, ray total. Pick with the slider. There we go. And don't forget our semicolon. Okay, next variable we're going to need is to evaluate the width of our of our object here, so we're going to, as I say, use uh, W for width, and again the expression for that is this, capital C comp, dot width, <coughs> and it's spelled right, okay, Oop. comp, C-O-M-P, again my spelling, okay, and our last variable, we're going to type in I equals index, and semicolon. Okay, so let's put our, um, you know, equation together to you know get the expression rolling. So we don't need uh, the value here in x because the value here in x is already set to zero, and zero times anything we put in here will negate anything because it'll just end up being zero. So let's we can get rid of that. And so what we have to do is we have to take the width of our composition and divide it by however many you know solid objects or array layers that we have. Uh, in our uh, composition, which is set by our ray total slider here. So we're going to take our width, which is W, divide it by our ray slider, which is R. And you're wondering what the hell, why did it pop all the way over here? Well, our width is 1024 times R, which our slider is set to 1, equals 1024. So obviously it's going to go all the way over here to the other side, which is, this is 1024 in, in the pixel range. So what we're going to do now is so it can be offset um, every uh, every time we uh, add a layer, we're going to multiply it by the index, i. Okay, 
okay, well, that's not doing anything uh, because we just multiplied it by 1 because that's what the index is, so it's still set to 1024 because it's still um, set to 1 because it'll you know reset it to uh, 1024. So what we have to do is uh, we have to get it so, again, uh, the position is evaluated at uh, to brought down to zero. So what we're going to have to do is go back up into the index, and we're going to have to subtract one from the index, which now makes the index for this layer zero instead of one. And so we have the width, which is 1024 times uh, the ray amount, which is one equals 1024, times the index which is 1 minus 1 is 0, so it brings it position is 0. So now, when we add another array, control duplicate, go to our null, toss a array total of 2 in there, it's evenly divided. Add another array, control duplicate, evaluate this to 3, and it evenly splits it up. And you're wondering, well, you know, there isn't one over here. Well, if we were to um, uh, cut and paste, or you know, use um, oh, let's see, what's that uh, motion tile? It would duplicate perfectly um, because the next uh, um, ray would be at this edge, at this uh, very at the right edge here, and it would just keep going. Um, so let's you know, put a few more in there. There's seven rays, so let's change this to seven. Okay, see where I'm going with this? Okay, guys, you can actually skip over this next part if you really want to. I'm just showing you an extra here, uh, which is um, basically the same thing, but done in a, in a slightly different manner. Uh, it's, again, tileable, but it's a just, just a different way of positioning things. Um, and I'll finish the actual project in the very last segment. So you, if you don't want to listen to this part, you can just skip over it.